You disappeared. Are you okay? I went over this months ago in Phoenix, TF 29's North America Division. Everything should be there in that report. The report has a few areas that aren't clear. The operational details are there, but there's not a lot about your personal interactions with Agent Hector Guerrero. Specifically, what happened to him? Is this a witch hunt, Doctor? Because I feel like I've been under the microscope since London. Adam, this interview has nothing to do with that. We're just trying to clarify what happened in Arizona nine months ago. Just relax. Tell me what happened, what you remember about that mission one more time, and we can put this to bed. You want me to tell you a story? Okay. Let's get this over with. I'm listening. It was my first undercover mission for TF-29. They had me undercover as an inmate inside an all-only supermax known as the Penthouse. Penthouse approach. Phoenix Flight Control requesting handoff of automated transport. I'll copy. Reading your five, Phoenix. Onboard AP is disengaged. Handoff complete. Tower has control. Copy that. Have a better one. received intel suggesting terror attacks on several pro-law groups in the U.S. If it proved out, the loss of life would have been staggering. Agent Guerrero was the only one who could confirm if that intel was solid, but he was Dark Opal, already in the prison, undercover, and out of contact. Would you consider this mission high risk? The job is the job. What else is there to say? I'm just wondering at the amount of stress such a mission might put on someone. It must be difficult. Try to keep up, asshole. We're agents, Doctor. We handle our roles as we need to. So you were taken into processing? Open the box! All inmates are stripped of their augmented abilities on arrival. I had some idea of what to expect inside that place. But let's just say, I should have been better prepared. Okay, data's in, ID's verified. Last name Walters, first name Derek, middle name. I think they pronounce it Jesus. Uh, Stinger, you, you might want to come take a look at this. What is it? Take a look at this hardware. Full arm leg prosthetic replacement, energy converter. I don't even know what that is. He's a real deal hot rod, isn't he? What do you think? They look mil spec almost? Oh, definitely. I mean, these were made with love. I mean, look, right there, you can see on the- Love? Hey, fucking cookies. What do we know about him? First timer, looks like. Doing a five-year bid for aggravated assault and negligent homicide. Oh, uh, he's being transferred up north in a few days to our big brother. Kind of relaxed for a first timer. Too big for paradise, maybe, huh? Hot rod? any time getting to know you then, can we? You, uh... You, you want him on the list? No. But I want to keep an eye on him. See where he goes, who he talks to. Upload the virus. Uh, it's not a virus. It technically, it's much more It can be a monkey riding a poodle up his ass for all I give a shit, egghead. As long as it shuts him down. Clear? Yes, sir. Uploading now. <laughs> it hurts. 
Lance. Noted. We put a suppression biochip doodad in your noodle. Just think of it as a housewarming gift from the great state of Arizona. We don't need you using your superpowers in here. Welcome to your new reality, Hot Rod. Better get used to it. Hold on. Only thing for you past this point is trouble. The pain you experienced, it was from the chip they implanted during processing, right? Yeah, it kicked in if I even thought of using any of my augs. So you were inside, stripped of your augs, no badge, no backup, and the clock was ticking on the terrorist threat? What did you do next? I knew from the brief that Guerrero was in B-Block using the name Oscar Mejia. To get to him, I needed to keep a low profile, blend in, and follow prison protocols. All right, Clegs. Level three's rush time in the yard begins now. Play nice and steer clear of restricted areas.
Are you shitting me? Johnson. Andy fucking Johnson. <laughs> Do I know you? Do you? Do you know me? Do you believe this clown? Yeah, you know me, you piece of shit. Theodore Zenga, Detroit, 2022. You busted my ass at the Howie Bazaar Club for sleeping with underage hookers, remember? You've got the wrong guy. Don't lie to me, bot. You threw me down a flight of stairs. My head hit every fucking step. You don't forget something like that. Ain't no problem, is there, detail? How about you give the new brother some breathing room? Break it up, Planks. Unless you want a one-way ticket to solitary. No charge. We're all fine here, Stenger. We don't need another accident. I suggest you find a way to cool off, detail. Show's over. The guys are caught, I'm telling you. I see you again. I'll parade your bot ass all over the yard. You hear me? Hell, Nushine. Look at you. Making a good first impression already. I like that. I'm not sure everyone agrees with you. What, D-Town? Nah, pay no mind. He's not allowed to hate on the guards, so he just hates on everyone else instead. So I should watch my back. Thanks for the advice. Ain't the inmates gonna kill you in the penthouse, brother. It's the guards. Stenger and his crew, be stirring up trouble all day, every day. Why would they do that? Pissing us off is just gonna make their job harder. It's like a game to them. They bait us into breaking the rules and kill us when we cross the line. Been worse since they murdered Wilbur. Let me get this straight. The guards are murdering inmates for fun. Mm-hmm. Wilberg's just the latest brother to die for no good reason other than whatever Stengel was thinking. Just you wait, Moonshine. Their time's coming. We Augs need to stand together, not apart. Know what I'm saying? This Wilberg you say was murdered. What happened to him? Got himself cut in half by an automated sentry over in B-Block. Official word was malfunction. Unofficial word is Stengel. Must have gotten tired of the swing Wilbur had. Sounds like Wilbur was a big deal. He was the king for a lot of folks in here. Full gangster, Kosha Nostra. Been hooking and crooking since most of these guys were still dancing in their daddy's balls. Him getting taken out like that has all the brothers fired up. They can't just kill us like we're cattle anymore. All level two inmates, return to your cells immediately. Your outdoor time is over. Say, you don't look so good. Feeling the choke from the suppression chip Stenger put inside you, huh? It's a rare kind of pain, ain't it? I've dealt with pain before. I'm sure I'll find a way to deal with it again. That's up to you. But I'd strongly advise you look for someone we call the Fixer. He's an inmate like you and me, but he was a doctor on the outside. He can give you a little something for the pain. Last warning, Blanks. All level two inmates back to your cells. Now! Level two, that's me, brother. The yard's yours. Enjoy your time in the sun. You need me for something. Swing by 212. Cell A212. Got it. Did you think you could trust this Dr. Flossie mentioned? Did you feel nervous, or was this... Suspect something was wrong? There was a chance he was walking me into something, yeah. And I didn't know how long it would take to find a ride. But losing the choke wasn't such a bad idea either. I had to think it through. Yes, well, sometimes wart. Cut up version of Wirt Mueller? It's German, from my father. He said to always insist on the umlauts. Otherwise people butcher the pronunciation. So often butchered it, no matter what I did. Sorry to hear that. It's not your fault, Jim. You haven't gotten it wrong, not once. 
I like that about you, Mr. Mr. Walters. No umlauts. I'm here because Flossie sent me. He wants it now? But I... I don't have it. N not here. Mr. Flossie made it very clear. I internalized the words when someone became to ask someone like me to do something. Well, as you can see, the gate, the gate, delivery must wait. If this delivery is important to Flossie, I could help. Did he tell you to tell me to tell you? Irregular. But possible. Because your name is German, like my name, but yours. Simpler. Stronger. An old warrior's name. Yeah, well, this old warrior's seen better days. Now I'm just trying to facilitate things if I can. <laughs> Aren't we all, Mr. Walters? It's the temptation that concerns me. Once a man holds it in his hands, we're not made of plush. Can you promise to deliver it? I'm not looking to make enemies. If I can help a guy like Flossie get his hands on something he needs, maybe he can help me. Very well. It's, uh, cell. 309. Be careful. Don't tell Teddy I told you. They, they know me. <laughs> know that if someone wants something from me, all they have to do is ask. Okay, cell A309. I'll see what I can do. There's something else. The pain I've been feeling since getting processed. Apparently, you're some kind of doctor. Suppose I am that. Yes. Dr. Wartmuller. There was a brass sign on the door. It was deeply engraved. But that's in the past. I'm here now, specializing in the side effects of suppression. The, the choke. Stinger's procedure. The chip they install on us. How does it work exactly? A pain equals energy exerted. Man uses an iron lung to breathe, zap, his heart beats mechanical, zap, he lifts his alloy arms over his head because Mr. Stenger tells him to. Zap, 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 yeah, I felt it. And you found a way to make these reactions go away? A combination of liquids, yes, and crushed powders in tablet form, small enough to stuff down a child's throat, enough to pass around without Mr. Stenger knowing. All you had to do was ask. I'll take whatever you have. Hell, I'll take two if it's as effective as you say. Oh, maybe you don't want to take more than one. One for everyone. If you were to take more than one, uh, maybe just take one. Oh, and uh, side effects? Yes, uh, there's the possibility of drowsiness and... and drowsy mouth, uh, uh, occasionally. Uh, the greatest danger would, would arguably, be long-term total unknown. MA-524-1074, Ward Mulker. Report to the infirmary immediately. Ward Mulker to the infirmary. <laughs> That's not correct at all. Uh, Mr. Walters, uh, really, it's the first, the first five minutes I'd be most worried about. Those are the most crucial. I'm surprised you took the fixer's pill. Weren't you worried about the side effects? The pill messed with my vision, but it removed the pain caused by the choke. Even more, it also restored access to a few of my augs. As far as I was concerned, it was worth it. Still, that was quite a gamble. Have you felt anything since? Changes in mood, headaches, memory loss? I can only think of one headache right now, Doctor. There must be something I should be doing.
say anything to you about setting Wilberg up? Century took him out. That's not normal what happens, right? Who gives a shit? He's dead, isn't he? Nobody's gonna miss him either way. Disrespecting a correctional officer will lead to punishment and or an extension of your sentence. So let me get this straight. Flossie was smuggling a biocell inside a stuffed toy. Were you tempted to use it yourself? There was a good chance the biocell would have given me access to my augs, but it was clearly intended for Flossie. Not taking it to him could have jeopardized our relationship and the job. You need a mo Shit can be hard to come by in this place. And you're the guy who can get things, is that right? Yeah, yeah! Well, a multi-tool, to be specific. I got one of those, if you have any new paws to trade. Here. Sweet! My multi-tool, as promised. Keep it out of sight, you know what I mean? Shine. Didn't think I was gonna see you again so soon. Is a social call or you're here for something in particular? Actually, I picked something up you might be interested in. A customized bio cell. Couldn't have been easy to come by. Now how the fuck? And what do you know about it? I know that whatever it's for, it made the fixer pretty nervous. And judging by your reaction, I know it's worth something to you. Fixer, huh? Well, I guess there ain't no point in being mad about it. Not your regular kind of thinker, if you know what I'm saying. So you're looking to deal, that it? Got something on your mind? I was wondering how someone might go about getting into B-Block. That's so? <laughs> Normal circumstances, I'd ask why, but seeing as you got something I need, we'll just say your business is your business. Just need a way to the other side. You strike me as a resourceful guy. That I am. So can you help me or not? Matter of fact, Nushan, I think we can help each other. A friend of mine is sitting on B-side, name of Red Shoes. You make sure he gets that bio cell, and I'll be most grateful. Right. Only problem is I forgot to pack my walk-through walls augmentation. Packed a smart mouth, though, didn't you? I got you covered, brother. Here. Keys to the castle. Calibrated to the security refresh from yesterday. Should get you through most doors with a card reader. I'd still keep my head down, though. Unless you want to hang with Wilberg in the morning. All right. So this Red Shoes, how will I recognize him? Judging by the lack of fashion in here. Hey, my man. Present company excluded, of course. But I can assume Red Shoes isn't actually wearing Red Shoes, so what am I looking for? Let's just say Red Shoes is real good at getting himself in trouble. You'll find him in one of the cool-off cages. Just keep your ears open, New Shine. You'll know him when you hear him. Trust me. Open your ears, you'll find him. Did you use the keycard Flossie gave you? What if it set off the alarms? The keycard was the only clear advantage I had to reach Agent Guerrero in cell block B. It was a risk worth considering. The modified biocell you were carrying could have given you an advantage, too. You still weren't prepared to use it? Being able to use my odds would have helped a lot. 
but there was no telling what would happen if I didn't take the biocell to Red Shoes as Fossey wanted. I had a choice to make. You really think that new guy's a cop? I know he is, you idiot. Just can't remember his fucking name. Isn't it Pig? No, smartass. I mean his name back when he was a cop in Detroit. Oh, right. Was it Jorgensen? prisoner jumpsuit you found must have come in handy. It meant I could blend in and move around B-Block without the risk of being spotted by the guards over there. It was a convenient disguise, but I needed to remember to use the correct suit for each block to avoid running into trouble. taught me that trick. We all need to play good from doors. So you made it into B Block. I can't imagine you started knocking on cell doors asking for Oscar Mejia. Not exactly, no. I knew I had to keep searching. As long as I stayed out of trouble, I'd find a way. And with a jumpsuit for B-Block, I was able to move around in the open. There was also that friend of Flossie's, right? What was his name again? Red Shoes. Like I said, I'd find a way. B-Block is currently under investigation. Inmates are not permitted near the crime scene. Let's go take a look. The Santo. Construction. Call 
technology, quality, excellence. Santo, restoring the past and building the future. Turning now to Europe, where the Augmented Rights Coalition continues to struggle in the face of seeking to solitary before you could even throw the first punch. How would they know it was me who started it anyway? Because, dumbass, you keep shouting, we should riot! my damn cell. See who's got the entire lower level locked down. That's because this ragged out here. Why turn back when you were so close to reaching Agent Guerrero? I'm not sure what the thinking was behind that. There's no need to know the thinking behind it. I'm telling you what happened. It just seems strange that you didn't feel the need to focus on your objective. Am I telling the story, Doctor, or would you rather tell it for me? Little red shoes, little red shoes, she gave up her legs. You red shoes? I haven't seen you before. Who wants to know? I had something for you. Special delivery. Compliments of A-Block. It's happening? Now? He actually did it? I knew it! I told the guys Flossie was straight, man. This fucking slaughterhouse is gonna burn. It's time for some respect. Come on, let me have it. Slow down. I'm looking for Mejia. Tell me where he is and I'll think about handing it over. Mejia? Uh... He's usually on cleaning duty in the showers about now. Look, whatever, man. Just give me the cell. Let's get this party started. Here you go. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. Man, you have no idea. I missed being me. <laughs> Tell Flossie he's the fucking king. We owe him big time. When the time is right, shit's gonna go down. You'll see.
possessing contraband of any kind is a serious offense. malfunctioning, then it should have started killing everyone.
this merit system work? Yep. Lost Columbus, but just looking to scrub another man's back. Benny Machado. Friends call him Big Yacht. You know him? Big Yacht? Jesus. Haven't heard that name for 26 months. 20? Wow. It's been that long, huh? So, do you know him or not? Yeah, I know him. Look, we can skip the cloak and dagger. No harm playing by the book, but this far out, the bosses can't hear us anyway. What are you doing here? I'm with Interpol. Walters, TF-29. There's a potential terror threat. We need you to help us. Whoa, whoa! Back up! You're here to pull me out? For a potential threat? You think I'm working on my fucking tan in here? I'm Dark Opal, remember? Do not contact under any circumstances.
We think this could be serious. Maybe the intel we have is a little thin, but it clearly suggests attacks are possible against several pro -Og groups. I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. Did I just hear you admit TF-29's intel might be bullshit? <laughs> You're a breath of fresh air, man. I think I like you already. Look, if just one of these threats pans out, we're talking thousands of potential lives lost. Isn't it our job to protect them? Yes, but TF-29's intel is wrong. It always is. Walters, what I'm doing in here is too important. No offense, but I'm not pulling out for a mate. Sorry. I wouldn't have come all the way out here if I didn't feel this was important. Hey, I understand. I'm not attacking you. Unlike our clueless bosses back home, I know exactly what you went through just to get here. What's all this got to do with me anyway? I'm organized crime, not terrorism. Interpol knows that. We arrested two suspects on an odd smuggling charge. They let slip about the attack during interrogation, but now they won't talk. We've ID'd them as members of the junkyard gang, Dembrowski and Martin. Jesus, are you kidding me? Dembrowski and Martin? That's like Laurel and Hardy planning the moon landings. No wonder they're not saying anything. They don't know shit. This terror threat of yours? It's nothing but hot air, Walters. All right, so maybe you know someone who can give us a better lead. You've been inside junkyard for two years now, Agent Guerrero. You know these guys better than anybody. Agent Guerrero? Come on, man. You sound like one of them talking. We're not like them. Call me Mejia. Fine, Mejia. We need to get you transferred out of here as soon as possible, so you can talk I told to you I can't. Look, Walters. Junkyard is... It's taken years to get them to trust me. If you knew what I... Ho <laughs> ho! It's been a while since I boot fucked the door. I haven't lost my touch. Hello, boys. This a private party? This has nothing to do with you, Stinger. You should not mind your own business. Oh, I am. I think our friend here will understand that. Friend? Oscar Mejia, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Ian Wilberg. Cook this beaner. Man, whatever the hell! <laughs> Oaks! So help me God! What? He's up! Stanger, he's up! That goddamn time. I'm gonna get a look at him. Move. You and me, we need to talk. Get out of here. Make sure no one bothers us. But, but Chief, what about the riot? I sit out, dipshit! Look, Walters. What happened in the shower was a mistake, all right? But it wasn't my fault. If Junkyard would have told me you were coming, none of this would have happened. Junkyard. Then you know why they sent me. Yeah, I know. But I can fix this. God damn it. Didn't I tell you guys something was gonna happen? Mejia runs hot, I said. Too much passion. Sure enough, he went off script and put the entire operation at risk. I swear. I'm the only one in here who knows what he's doing. You arrested Mejia for Wilberg's murder. Why the hell would he do something like that? Exactly. I had Wilberg on the do not touch list from day one. And not just because of his connections on the outside. He held a lot of sway in here. Mejia's supposed to know that. Hell, that's why he was here, isn't it? So you think he's deliberately trying to sabotage the operation? It looks that way, don't it? Junkyard should have never trusted him, just like I said. After we get this goddamn riot under control, Things are gonna start going a whole lot smoother with me in charge. You can rely on that. Where's Mejia now? I got that covered, don't you worry. He's squared away in a solitary on a TVI. Tighter than a sheep's asshole when the shepherd stinks of wine. <laughs> They'll be dead this time tomorrow. Dead tomorrow? That's not acceptable. Junkyard needs Mejia alive. I want to speak with him now. 
No disrespect, Hefe. But you being a VIP and all, I don't think that's a good idea. Since your boy went and killed Wilberg, the prison's gone to complete shit with these filthy-ass Augs tearing up the place. No offense. Isn't the prison designed to stop something like this? What happened? Frederick Flossie happened. Budget Malcolm X type. Educated just past his ABCs. So I guess that about makes him a fucking genius in here. Yeah, we met. The inmates obviously look up to him. Word is he managed to smuggle a biocell to one of his cronies. Stupid clank bastard jammed it up his asshole and went nuts. Got into the biocells in lockup after killing the guards on duty and... Et voila! I don't get it. The choke was supposed to kick in, but it's like it's 2027 all over again. What do you expect? You push a chip inside them, take away what they are. Trust me, that'll piss off any og. Yeah, sorry about that. But again, if Junkyard would have told me you were coming... No matter. I got a riot response team on the way that'll be more than happy to push their shit in for them. Boss, cell block is clear. Looks like most of the trouble is towards the admin building. Ah, it'll be fine. They're just fucking Ogs. There's no way they can take the entire prison. Woo! Frederick Flossie coming at you live! You out there, Stenger? Time's up for you and your goon assholes, motherfucker! Christ on a cracker! <sighs> Sorry, Walters. You'll need to stay here. The guards are gonna be shooting inmates on sight, and the last thing we need is you getting drilled. Oaks! Get to admin and do something about that fucking PA! I got something to take care of first. I'll meet you there. So you let Stenger believe that you were with Junkyard. Why not break cover now that Guerrero's life was on the line? Stenger was into something dirty. There was no telling what he would do to protect himself. It was better I stayed under and got into solitary on my own. But you still had to make your way through a prison riot to do that. Then it was a good thing I had use of my Augs. I was gonna need them. 